Well, hello everyone, and here I am with another LEGO Star Wars review, and this one's on the Imperial Landing Craft. So, on the front of the box here, you see LEGO logo, Star Wars logo, the set in action, Disney logo, all the minifigures included, and age recommendation 9 through 14, set number 75221, has 636 pieces. And on the back, you can see it in a relaxed position and, and all the features of it and all the mini figures spread out in the air. So now on to the booklet. And on the front of the booklet, same picture as on the front and everything. On the back, how to win on the online survey. All the pieces that come with the set. Add for Lego Life with Kyle Ren. Add for the AT Hauler and Convey Transport, which I have previously reviewed on this channel. Add for all the minifigures included with the summer sets, and then add for all the summer sets of the way and the last steps. <clears throat> and so now on to the minifigures. Starting out with the Imperial Shuttle Pilot. The Imperial Shuttle Pilot. Well, of which points are kind of about the same as from older sets. Like seeing that half piece and small pistol and all. And also the little head, head print with the com link there just about like the death star troopers and all that and there is from the back but no double-sided face and then here we got the first sam trooper with the little pauldron there and also his torso print of which kind of about the same as from previous sam trooper and there's from the back with unique backpack piece bill but the back printing of which most like all most other stormtroopers and underneath the helmet is the clone face the annoying angry clone face like start like a, you gotta stop using these this print on stormtroopers since stormtroopers and clone troopers are not the same and after all and then another sand trooper of which the same deal, but with a orange pauldron. And if it focuses. Focus. Okay. Same exact thing, but in orange. And otherwise everything else the same. Then next up is R2D2. Of which same as from the X-Wing set. That I previously just reviewed, and also the same as it's been in like many sets over the years. As plain or just as basic as it gets. And also the back head printing and everything else just the same as it's always been. And then last but not least is Ben Kenobi. Ben Kenobi. Well, probably the same of which from last year's Landspeeder set. And probably, I, uh, well, a few others from the last few years. But you know, his torso print and leg print, of which looks good. And also the face print, of which does well capture it, as obviously. And then turn it to the back, but. No, no double side face, and also some back printing. And that is it with all our minifigures. And now to the Imperial Landing Craft itself. Okay. So as for the front head piece, head part, it's quite similar to that of the. Uh, in 
Imperial Shell Tidarium from a couple years ago, but one with a squarish panel instead of rounding, rounded kind of panel, and also a little um, jacket plate, but which it didn't have then. You can like open this up, but like, it's or what it, I believe it didn't have. And what the Imperial Shell didn't have is this little snot like technique of it. So, kind of alright to them. Alright use of snot to them. And, and enough space to seat a single mini fig in it, like so. And on the side, so it's the little stud shooters there. Like they have on other ones. And then, but as for the rest of it, at least. Good use of all these like rounding panel pieces, and also the cornered ones like we saw in the ship in the bottle. But as you see, it leaves an open gap, you know, probably just to uh, reveal the like little blasters in it. But of course, unfortunately, don't fire or anything. Whatever. Which would have been nice if they did do a firing thing. And, and so the main feature of which is that you can open this up. Well, on both sides. And you can open, put this down. Actually, you can like open up all of these. Or what I would do is like store stormtroopers and whatnot. And then if you're getting this for army building. But mainly of which is this little ramp back in the camera on both sides and you can like walk up right into it. Although with this one, unfortunately, it has a lot of stickers. Like all of those are stickers on both sides and that up there is a sticker. And the back of which with the wings there, which can branch the joints all the way down. Just like the Tigerium shell kind of did. And the engine back part, and the engines of which are kind of about similar to that. But except it being a shortish version of that. But also some good use of the like rounding kind of pieces or rounded pieces just to get some sleek looks to it and there's an underneath part of it but as for the fin top wing part of it which built quite similar to that of which but except with the shorter or jagged slopes. Oops. So, and then underneath, good use of some of these little, or good use of those pieces and the Exoforce arms. You can like fold up and take off like so. And so now on to with a little comparison. Like here's compared to Imperial Shell at Tidarium of 2015. So as you see, a little bit similar to that. But as far as with a shorter wing instead of the large one and short in the back rather than the large wings. And they're both kind of ratcheted. The joint thing. But you know, they're kind of meant for different purposes and all. Well, the first time of this one being remade since around 2007. And then, yeah. What else to say? I, not much. So now, on to with the final verdict. Okay, the final verdict. So my overall verdict, I think this is which a pretty good set. Like 
good price value, good price per piece value, and you do so play with it. all right playability and everything. And also first time of being remade if you since two thousand and seven. So if you didn't bother getting that, well, here's your opportunity. And if you're looking to get this up, then go ahead and pick it up. And that's it with this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.